Hi guys, in this video I'm going to show you a very quick demo of a new feature in Vectrex 16. If we go to the bot control page, I have added a new widget for customizing vectors text to speech. This applies only to the SDK apps, so for example, to all voice commands implemented by Vectorx. My Go SDK wrapper supports four kinds of text to speech engines. This new widget allows you to switch from one another and test the results. The first one is, of course, Vector's native text-to-speech. It is the familiar robot voice you all know and like. Let's try an example. Hey Vector, what's the weather? 15 degrees and very cloudy. Next is eSpeak. It is an open source library for text-to-speech and its standard voices support localization. They are awful enough that they really sound robotic, but unfortunately, they really don't have Vector's nice appeal. Hey Vector, what's the weather? 15 degrees and very cloudy. Then comes Google Text to Speech. It's fast and it has a perfect pronunciation in several languages. Hey Vector, what's the weather? Cool, perfect, but the problem is it sounds so Google. Google took control of even my bot? No, I don't want that, sorry. Okay, so here we come to the third solution. I have programmed a voice server that, in theory, is able to connect with various text-to-speech providers, cache the results and send to Vector. I have only added, for now, integration with a service called FakeQ. They have many funny voices, honestly the quality is not so good, but you can have your vector talk as Wednesday Adams or Lord Voldemort. Let's try. Hey Vector, what's the weather? 15 degrees and very cloudy. Hey Vector, what's the weather? Hey Vector, what's the weather? 15 the cool thing about this setup is that it is bot dependent. So if you have two, three, or four robots, each of them can have a different voice. Without an API key, the FAQ rendering time is terrible. So this is hardly usable unless you use often the same sentences because they get cached. I will probably add a way to pass through your own API keys to the service, so if you like this feature you can get a premium account there and have your TTS delivered faster. Ok, I hope you have liked it, I think this brings a new piece of innovation to the Vectors world. Have a good time and see you next!